Good morning everyone, Jerry Bellini here from Recycle Parts for Art. Yes, I am still in my pajamas. This is my robe that you're seeing. <laughs> it's bright and early and uh, I wanted to get up early and make this video for you. I wanted to show you my December journal, my Christmas journal. I made it on Sunday and I had full intentions of showing it to you yesterday which was Monday but I had a horrible migraine all day and so here I am first thing in the morning. I wanted to show it to you before I started using it. So I've never made a December journal before but I just felt like making one this year because I've been watching a lot of uh, YouTubers and uh, every and Facebook on Facebook and everybody's posting their beautiful December journals and I'm like Jer why have you never made one of these before well I, I don't know I don't have the typical Christmas schedule in December I don't do Christmas shopping um, we don't buy a lot of gifts I don't send out Christmas cards so I wondered what might one put in their December journal if they don't do these things? <laughs> anyway, we had a Zoom um, mini art retreat this past Saturday and Susan Hiles was our fearless leader. And she um, showed us, very graciously showed us how to make uh, tags for our December journals if you had one. If you didn't have one, that was fine. You could make a tag for your altered book or uh, any mixed media project. We all love tags, right? So um, it was so inspiring. We had a lot of people in the uh, class from her December daily Inspiration Anything Goes Facebook group. We had a lot of people in there from from that group and so of course they wanted to make you know tags for their journal it was really fun it inspired me I can't it inspired me so then um, I was like I said I've been you know popping in on different YouTube channels and uh, the art barn I popped in on Danina the other day and she was making one she was using this pretty red velvet and I'm like Jer you have to make one you'll think of something to put in the book <laughs> So here it is. So I made it on Sunday and I had a Christmas book already. Um, this is Make Your Own Merry Christmas, it says. I had two of these that uh, Brian and I got when we bought all the books recently um, from this gentleman uh, that is revamping his entire book business. We bought thousands of books, yeah. Well, we bought a thousand books, then we went back and we, <laughs> and we bought another thousand. So we have a lot of books. Anyway, um, not a lot of Christmas books, um, which surprised me that he didn't have more of those. But all right, I'm digressing. So I was going to sell this one. I sold the other one. I was going to sell this one. And I thought, no, make your, make your journal with this. And so I took it apart. It was really thin. It was a very skinny book. So I figured I'll cut the... I'll cut the um, book covers off and I'll make my own spine. So that's what I did. And it actually is a hidden spine under there. But uh, at the last minute I decided to dress it up a little bit and I put some of this um, red and white ticking on here. And then um, this is part of my grandmother's flower garden quilt that I've been selling off in my Etsy shop. I think I only have one piece left. But I had this little scrap and I just liked the quilt very much so I thought I'll use it there. I used um, upholstery fabric to wrap around the spine and then on the front um, I used, this is cheesecloth, uh, coffee dyed cheesecloth and this cute little bugger is a little Santa Bell that um, I'll show a full picture of it at the end that I had left over from my bead shop. I found this little box <laughs> full of them. So uh, I thought he had to go on there. And of course this is an angel and I try to put angels on everything because they remind me of my mom. And you know, she's gone uh, quite a while now, uh, four years uh, this winter. 
and I miss her terribly, especially um, this time of year I miss her. She passed in February. Uh, so I always like to put a little angel on everything. And this is just some vintage trim Brian um, brought home for me from an auction and some vintage buttons. And I, I will insert a picture of the book. Of the book, what it looked like before I took it apart. It was quite red and I didn't like it. I like things to look old. So the book is old. It was from the 50s. And uh, anyway, I sanded the book. I sanded the um, edges and I put some distress ink on it and did that to the front and back. So uh, I did want to say uh, one more thing. <laughs> no, not one more thing. I did want to say a couple things before we before I open the book. Um, as I mentioned, I don't I don't send out Christmas cards. I I don't generally receive them. And yesterday I went out to my mailbox, and I this was out there. And it's a Christmas card from uh, Dawn's Crafty Room. And Dawn, I just wanted to thank you so much for this beautiful card that's handmade and um, the, the beautiful note inside. Uh, it was very, um, it was a surprise to see this in there because I had been thinking, what am I gonna put in my journal? <laughs> so now I'm gonna put the card in there and I might make a pocket or something inside. But I was tickled to receive that and it's so pretty. So thank you so much for your thoughtfulness. Um, let's look at the inside of the book. Okay, so the inside I decided to put uh, some fabric. So this is um, some quilting, cotton quilting fabric, and this is um, ticking. And I did it across the whole, both covers, as you can see. And I put two signatures in here. And um, I didn't put a lot of paper in here because I want to, my intention is to glue down pictures of um, some Christmas things. Now, I have these books that I'm selling in my Etsy shop, these Christmas books, and I loved the pictures on them. I really just thought they were so beautiful. So I thought, you know, I'm gonna, I didn't know what to do with them because if you don't make a December book, what are you gonna do with them? <laughs> but I made an envelope out of one of the, one of the pages, and I thought, you know, I'm gonna cut them up and and put them in this book. So that's the other thing. I don't really have a lot of Christmas supplies, so I was begging for my daughter uh, if she had any uh, Christmas things. Yeah, I'm pretty sad, huh? <laughs> anyway, that's gonna change. I'm in the little house now, and things are gonna look up, and um, so. This is my first Christmas journal in my little house. All right, so I, what I decided to do, I wanted to have at least uh, 30, 30, at least 31 uh, spreads, okay? I wanted a spread for each day. So I put um, 10 pieces of paper in each signature, okay? And I decided to use some of the papers that I've been making. Um, so this is my rusty, because why not, right? This is my rust dyed paper, and um, I have a video for this. So I'm gonna link different videos in uh, the description below. So the Zoom I was just talking about, um, I'll put that in the description below if you don't know what I'm talking about, that little mini art retreat that we did this past weekend. And so it's just a lot of coffee dyed. I do echo dyeing. I've done it for many years. Brian and I take the camper out in the summer and the fall. And um, I do echo dyeing while he's off doing gosh knows what. And I, I really have been enjoying it. So I have all this echo dyed paper and I haven't really done much with it. I'll be honest with you, I didn't use my best echo dyed paper in here because I'm gonna cover the pages. But it's here. It's a start, it's a creative start, and um, some watercolor paper. Uh, I don't know what this is, I found it in the drawer. I just thought it was pretty. Uh, some graph paper, some more echo dyed paper, and I wanted to show you this, because I love when you rip a piece of paper out of a book, I love that edge. So I included that. 
And uh, it's just some more Echo dye. And uh, the thing I, I also wanted to tell you was this brown paper is packaging paper that comes from a company called Jet, J-E-T. It's an online like um, food shopping thing that I use once in a while, but I love the paper that they put in there. So I coffee dye it and whatnot. This is photo paper that I was fooling around with. You might see there's a little bit of gloss on it. And that's about it. I'm not gonna show you every single page. Some vintage paper from a car dealership. And uh, that's it. So I have, um, I have, let me see, I have 80 pages, 80 of these. So one, two, three, like that. And so that will give me 40, I believe, 40 spreads. And if I figured that out right. And um, what I'm thinking is to maybe put um, a quote or a scripture verse or something on one side. And then uh, some of the Christmas um, pages out of my Christmas book on the other side. I don't know. I'll see as it goes along. And of course, I'll be putting this in, in there and I'll make a pocket. So I did want to show you that it's, you see when you squeeze it, you see it's quite, quite thin. And I did that on purpose because as I fill it, it will expand and it will be luscious. So keep that in mind if you're going to make your own, if you haven't made it already. I think I'm so behind everyone else <laughs> but that's okay uh, I do what I can when I can so I will put the description in the description um, Danina the art bar and um, Susan Hiles in the zoom and anything else I can think of I'll put I'll put down there to inspire you and uh, that's about it uh, I'll come back and show you as I work on it and I was thinking maybe I would do a live and you know fool around with one of the pages. You might enjoy seeing that. And I hope everyone has a blessed day full of love and recycled art. And I want to thank you so much for all your support um, for the year, for the years. I really do appreciate you and I love your comments and I see so many of you are sharing out my videos and I really do appreciate that. So I will talk to you next time. Bye.